Hey guys, JT here. Thank you for joining me. So good to be back with you. Today I'm going to review a product that I think has a lot of potential and I believe they're early to market and so I'm interested in what they're doing and how it might mature and develop over time. And what I'm talking about is related to the video and photography capabilities built into smartphones. As those capabilities continue to increase and we get 4K ProRes, like on the iPhone 13 Pro, as I reviewed recently, the capabilities of the tools in our pocket are becoming so powerful that we're having to rethink how we leverage these tools. And as that happens, we're going to need a new array of resources to leverage that capability. And that's what I'm talking about today, particularly the Geometrical Pocket Tripod Pro. And basically what we're talking about is a tripod for your smartphone that will fit in your wallet. And I believe this has a lot of potential. I know virtually nothing about it, and so I'm ready to unbox it and see if it will meet my need and if it looks like it has the potential to help others in this growing area of doing videography and cinematography with a tool that you're carrying around with you in your pocket every day. Are you ready? Let's get started. Now let me show you some of the other products that I've been using to do cinematography, videography with my iPhone. The first is the Joby Gorillapod. I've been using this now for a couple of years and I really like it. I find it useful because it's very adaptable. You can wrap these legs around posts and trees and tabletops and whatever to give you a stable shot. And I really like it. You can get a, a smartphone adapter here that attaches to it. So I've been using that for a while and I really like it. It's one of those products that I've got to have. And if I'm doing a, a shoot or shooting some video, even for a family event, I'll easily pack this away in my suitcase or bag or backpack and I'm able to capture some footage in a very uh, adaptable platform. One of the problems is this is how big it is and I can't carry this around with me most of the time. And so I want something that has a lot more availability. Here is a uh, cheap uh, Amazon product that is a selfie stick that can extend and has a tripod on it. I had high hopes for this but after using it for a while, I just decided that I don't have to have this. It's not lived up to my expectations. Manfrotto does make one that I do like. It's kind of a plain Jane solution. And then I've gotten just a generic smartphone adapter that I've added to it. And that comes in handy in certain situations, but it doesn't have the flexibility that the Joby Gorillapod does. But you can see that it's a bit smaller than the Gorillapod. I've also got this metal unit that has a lot of flexibility because you can mount it to a tripod head or you can set it on a flat surface and you have a lot of flexibility. You can tighten these hex screws here so that you have as much tension as you want. And it gives quite a bit of flexibility, like particularly if I'm doing a, a, some shooting where I need to position the phone just at a certain tilt angle, at a certain vantage point, it gives me the ability to create a wide variety of angles and to maintain those in a very stable manner. And so that's come in handy. If you guys have an interest in any of these and want me to do a review, let me know in the comments section below. And finally, I've got this unit here. This is a Zayun a gimbal and I've added onto it a beast grip tripod and all together this gives me a lot of flexibility. It gives me the stability of a gimbal so that I can shoot on the move and provide very stable footage. The tripod here works great. I've looked at a variety of tripods to go on the bottom of this and Beast Grip has just an exceptional tripod that I really like and if you want me to do a review of that 
also let me know. So this provides a lot of flexibility because I can both use the gimbal feature of it, but there are times that I'm shooting a gimbal and then I want to be able to set it on the floor, ground a table or whatever, and then this rig gives me that ability. And when I'm holding it, this can act as a second grip. And so it gives me a lot of flexibility. There's a lot of these on the market. I've been using these for many years and I'm really pleased with this solution. So if you are interested in any of those, let me know. I'll be glad to do reviews of them. One of the challenges is the portability of each of these solutions is fairly limited. Compared to what I'm looking at here today, this Pocket Tripod Pro, and my hope is that this will actually fit in my wallet. And for those of you who haven't seen, I did a review recently of the Dango Products M1 Maverick wallet and I have been carrying this now for over a week and I have to say I absolutely love this wallet. I had concerns that it might be too stiff, it might uh, be uncomfortable to wear something that has an aluminum frame, but it hasn't been a problem at all. I haven't even noticed this in my pocket. And so this started me thinking, what if I could fit a tripod that would hold my smartphone fit it in my wallet so that I had it with me everywhere I go. And so that led me to this product here, and I'm excited to give it a try. Are you ready? So I really don't know much about this product. I found it on social media being advertised. Here is a geometrical fit card that helps you determine the thickness of your smartphone to determine, evidently it comes with a series of adapters so that you can fit whichever adapter onto this unit that fits your phone and case. So I'll have to experiment and see if mine does fit. And it looks like this opens here. like this is the actual unit itself Let's see if I can get it out here Wow this is surprisingly light and I probably should read the instructions but I'm a guy so out of principle I'm not gonna do that I am thinking from the looks of it that there are pivot points here and a pivot point here. I think the way this works is this way and then this folds up here. Hmm. And so the idea here is that, let me put this here so you can see it. So this can sit on a surface and these appear to rotate. So I guess I need to use this gauge to determine the thickness. And based on that, I think I need a 12 or possibly a 12.5, 12 to 12.5. Okay, they just twist right out. There we go. I'm going to put the 12 and a half, 12.5 centimeters here like so now I have to say this is plastic and when I saw it advertised it looked like it might be metal and so I was hoping for metal because it would um, provide better durability longevity but it's possible that this is going to meet my needs just fine. I mean, after all, it simply needs to be able to hold the weight of the phone in a stable manner. So, so the basic idea here is that this should be able to hold the phone in place at any angle that is needed to be able to capture video. Um, in general, my first impressions are that 
It takes a bit of work to get these adjusted. I'm guessing that they may wear in with time. The tolerances are really tight, and so I would expect it to pretty fluidly be able to adjust, but that's not what I'm experiencing. It's a little tougher than I would have thought. So in theory, I could set this up on a table and to be able to shoot video or photos in front of it. Um, my initial impressions are that it's workable. I think it has good potential. The packaging is good. The fact that you've got multiple adapters comes in handy. If you upgrade your phone or upgrade your case, you have multiple adapters to be able to fit it onto whatever phone and case you have. Now this product is early to market. I see a lot of innovation in this. The ability to fit a tool like this in your wallet to take up the size of a couple of credit cards is very innovative. And I love it when someone is thinking ahead of the game and looking at ways to solve problems that maybe the industry hasn't even fully realized exists yet. The rigidity of this swivel mechanism here, they've designed this to very tight tolerances, and as such, it's, it doesn't glide smoothly, and I would love to see that happen. I see this as an area where they can improve on. I haven't seen anybody else that's trying to fulfill this need, and as such, I think it's a very workable solution. I'm certainly going to be carrying it with me, putting it to work, seeing what I can do with it, what it might open up to me in terms of creative, artistic capabilities that I didn't have without a tool like this. And I suspect we'll be seeing an emergence of other products like this on the market that will uh, maybe learn some lessons from them and make improvements on it. I even hope that Geometrical uh, make some improvements over this in their next iteration. I would love to see more smooth glidability, if, if you will, in this mechanism right here so that I can more easily uh, change the tilt angle. But other than that, I really feel like this has a lot of potential to meet an emerging need. And I think we'll begin to see more products like this where people are realizing I have such a powerful tool in my pocket that I need other resources to help me leverage that. So a tripod is one of those needs. I think, uh, you know, we could see some microphones, we could see some lighting options that could fit in your pocket. I'm excited about the emergence of a new category of resources that are cinematography tools that can fit in your pocket and leverage the capability of our smartphones. I don't know if you know about it, but we have a website at gottahabit.tv and there we post all of our videos plus additional articles with more information. So if you're interested in discovering follow-ups about this, uh, check the website because as I post reviews, I'll periodically go back and do updates on new discoveries, upsides, downsides that I see, new thoughts that I've had on the product. I'd love to engage you in the comment section below. If you have questions about this, thoughts, do you know of other products that can fulfill the same need? I'd love to find those out and do some comparisons if there are any. So share your thoughts, your questions, your comments, and I'll interact with those. And if I have any updates, I'll try to share those in the comment section below too. Hey, thanks very much for watching. I hope you found this interesting, informative, or at least amusing and entertaining. <laughs> Until next time, spread the love.